quick start video for the Newport Bluetooth Lithium batteries. This video is gonna have everything you need to simply get up and running for your first outing on the water. For more detail, check out the detailed installation setup video. And for peak performance out of your battery with the new Bluetooth app, check that video, the peak performance app on the Newport Bluetooth Lithium batteries. Let's jump into the battery quick start. This battery is a 36 volt, 30 amp hour battery. The other batteries in the lineup are a 36 volt, 40 amp hour battery and a 24 volt, 50 amp hour battery. All three offerings have the Bluetooth integration for monitoring the status of your battery on the water via the Newport app. When you make your Bluetooth lithium battery purchase, I highly recommend adding the battery quick disconnect kit to that purchase. This is gonna allow you to quickly remove the battery from the entire system without uninstalling and reinstalling the lugs each time you go out on the water. You have a very durable self-wiping plug, disconnect that, move it to your charging station, plug the battery in, and you're good to go. You can just plug the battery back up to the system next time you wanna get out on the water and you're good to go. Your battery's gonna come with a charger that requires a little bit of setup. So simply plug that in to the battery on the side with the switch and the fan on it. And we do give you some extra fuses that can go in there in case you need them in the future. The quick disconnect plug that comes with your charger can live on the battery stacked right on top of the terminals where you've installed the quick disconnect plug. First thing you're gonna wanna do is install the quick disconnect plug and the charger quick disconnect plug. To do that, I'm just gonna remove this zip tie and I'm gonna use the tools that have been provided with the quick disconnect kit, which is just the small Allen key that's included and the metric size 14 wrench. When you remove the bolt from the battery terminal, you'll notice you have a lock washer and then two flat washers on the bolt. The main thing you wanna be sure of is that the lock washer is closest to the head of the bolt with a flat washer below it. Then you can go ahead and stack your bolt through this lug terminal. And then I'm actually gonna install the quick battery quick disconnect at the same time. And I'm just gonna hand tighten want to make sure you have good contact with the metal on the battery terminal. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. And both of these plugs will just live right on the battery. You won't ever have to disconnect them. You want a nice snug installation so you get good contact and good conductivity out of this terminal installation here. And from hand tight, it's just gonna take three or four turns. And you wanna make sure that you're really compressing that lock washer. As always, when you're setting up this junction box, you want good metal contact. You want that initial washer on the bottom terminal ring stacked on top of that for good metal contact. And then you're gonna match red to red. And I'm just gonna complete the installation one side at a time. I'm gonna loosely assemble this nut onto that bolt first. And then I'm gonna tighten it down to ensure that these cables are in a straight line. That way when you put the cap back on, the cables will pass through the little opening in the cap. I'm gonna use the size 14 wrench and I'm just gonna kinda stabilize these cables so they stay in a nice straight line as I'm tightening them down. And the cap goes on 
Allen head screws go in. I'm gonna hand tighten those just a little bit, a few threads just so they're engaged. Then I'm gonna use the included tool, finish tightening everything down. One thing you wanna be sure of is not to over thread. There's just some threads cut into the plastic body of this plug here. So you don't need it super tight. Now you're ready to connect the battery power to the motor. If you're using an NK motor, you wanna make sure that you first connect the throttle controller to the motor before you connect the power. That's an essential step here. Since you don't have a throttle control box with the NT motor, you're just gonna plug straight into the motor. With an NT motor, when you're setting up your battery, plug into the motor, and then plug into the battery. And that's the complete assembly. When you're done with your outing on the water, you're gonna unplug the plugs in reverse. So, battery power first, and then motor. Most likely, you're gonna leave this plug intact and attached to the motor. You just coil that up. You can transport your motor to its storage location and put away. Now that your Newport Bluetooth lithium battery assembly is complete, you've got your quick disconnect battery plug installed and you've also got your quick disconnect charger plug installed. You're gonna wanna charge the battery up before you use it for the first time. The batteries come mostly all the way charged up, just top it off. So what you're gonna do is plug the charger into the battery first. So match red to red and black to black. Complete that assembly. Plug the charger into the wall and then turn the fan on. You'll hear that fan running. That's gonna cool the charger as it's working. And when this light turns to green, you're gonna be all the way charged up. Now that your battery is totally set up and you've got it charged all the way up before your maiden voyage, you're gonna to wanna to open that Newport app and connect the battery to the app. That's gonna give you on the water, real time battery status monitoring so you know how far you have left to go. It's also gonna let you dial in the sweet spot for your vessel. So check out the peak performance video to get more information on that. Thanks for joining us for the Newport Lithium Bluetooth Battery Quick Start video. This is just everything you need to know to get up and running with your battery. I hope you love it. See you on the water.